a monumental day in the making of my business. You know what's even more disgusting? Having fucked up hair from washing your hair every day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I film weekly vlogs to document my life and also show some behind the scenes of starting my own beauty brand. So today is Monday and I am in Morgan Hill still at my parents house. Um, I'm staying here this week because I'm going to Outside Lands this weekend in San Francisco. I'm so excited. Um, I think I'm going to do a separate vlog for Outside Lands. Um, so I think I'm just going to vlog Monday through Thursday in Morgan Hill, um, just kind of hanging out at my parents' house. This week, I don't have a ton of stuff going on. I actually just got off a call with the formulation lab this morning, and they are getting started on the formulas literally now. So I... Um, we kind of kicked off the project this morning. We went through the product briefs and it went super, super well. I was like a psychopath filling those out and was extremely, extremely detailed with what I want the product to be. So they know exactly what I want. They were very grateful that I filled them out that way because I guess they've worked with a lot of people in the past that aren't as detailed, which kind of leaves a lot of room for... I don't know if error is the right word, but a lot of room for like miscommunication of what they want the product to be. So I tried to be very, very, very specific with what I want the product to look like, smell like, feel like, what I want the claims to be, all that good stuff. So they are getting started now and hopefully I'll have the first samples um, sent to me in the next like two to three weeks. So now that the project is kicked off, I'm just kind of waiting around and I won't have to do much on that end. I am waiting for the contract to get sent back from the branding agency. Um, so I will keep you updated on that. And then other than that, this week, I'm really just, I'll just film a few things. I want to get a YouTube video up, obviously filming some TikToks. Um, maybe I'll force my mom to take some outfit pictures of me. <laughs> Love you, Mish. But yeah, I'm really just gonna be kind of chilling, getting ready to go to Outside Lands, um, and I'm really excited. So it like rained all night. Well, it's probably really echoey in here, but it rained all night, and so the lighting outside is like, it's very cloudy, so the lighting's not great to film right now. So I'm just gonna answer some emails and watch some TV. And hang out with my little dog, Lil. You guys, she's so old and she just sleeps all day. Poor Lil. She's literally 18 though, so like, she lived a good life, huh Lil? Sorry to wake you up, sleepy girl. My sleepy grandma. We found her in a Home Depot parking lot and she was a stray and she was like a year-ish. We don't really know how old she is, but she's at least 18 years old. But you've lived a great life. From rags to riches, huh? So I wanted to chat to you what a good dog. Okay, I'm home alone at my parents' house and this is the fucking struggle that I have all the time. I cannot open anything. Like I can't, my hands are really small for how like tall I am. Like I have a size 10 foot and my hands are fucking small. Like they're like baby hands and I can't open any jars. So living alone does not work. Like, I literally cannot open anything. I'm just trying to eat soup for lunch. Hi, it's freezing in this house, hence the blanket. Um, but it's like 5.30 and I need to make myself dinner because my mom drove up to San Francisco to go shopping with my brother. Don't ask. And then my dad isn't gonna be home until late. So your girl is on her own for dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna make. There's chicken and I'm trying to brainstorm what to make with the chicken. Because I also have to make my dad dinner so that he has it for when he gets home. But I just don't really feel like making chicken. I hate cooking chicken. I'm like, it makes me nervous. Cause I never feel like it's like cooked all the way but then it turns out fine. But I just hate cooking it. All right, we went with a Greek theme. No surprise here. 
I wanted to do tzatziki chicken, but we didn't have tzatziki, but we did have spinach chip. So I put spinach chip in the chicken and then made a little Greek salad on the side. I think it's gonna be pretty freaking good if you ask me. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It's like 8 a.m. and I'm going to the gym with Emu. It feels a lot earlier in the morning than 8 a.m. to be honest. Hello, okay, I'm back from the gym, clearly. Um, I went to Target to pick up a few things just right after the gym. I got like a makeup sponge. I got <laughs> these douchebag sunglasses for my Halloween costume. <laughs> and then just some other like random things like earrings and a phone charger, nail glue because I fucking broke a nail and I'm pissed. Um, but I need to like speed do my hair because my mom just told me that our house cleaner is coming in an hour and I was planning on filming a lot of stuff today so I, that's not gonna happen anymore. I was gonna do it yesterday but it was so cloudy all day that the lighting was just like not good so I was planning on doing it today but that's not gonna happen. Um, so we'll see what I get into today. Um, I need to do my hair and clean my room because it's a fucking disaster. Every time I come home, I just like let everything like sprawl out everywhere. Like, I'll give you a peek. That's what I'm working with. So I need to clean that up so that she can like vacuum and stuff. I need to film at least one TikTok that I have to do for a brand because I need to do that ASAP. So I'm gonna try and do that really quickly before she gets here. Oh, I look so pale. Whatever. Um. Basically, I haven't vlogged at all today, but I didn't really do much, to be honest. Um, the house cleaner being here all day really kind of threw a wrench in my plans, so I was just like on my computer the whole day, like researching random shit. I'm about to go to Emily and Morgan's house to watch The Bachelorette. Huh. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> also, can we just take a moment? My parents bought the exact same car as me. The exact same car. First world problems, I know, but it's just a little ridiculous. If you ask me that they bought the same car, same color, same year, same everything. <laughs> They're a little bit obsessed with me. Ugh. Good morning. Going to the gym again. Mm, I don't want to, it's cold outside. It's hard to go to the gym when it's cold outside. But we're doing it. Happy Wednesday. I'm fucking dead. So sweaty. So today I need to go home and I need to shower. And then I have a lot of stuff to film today because yesterday got all fucked up. So I'm gonna do that all day. Then I need to go to get some like root touch up because I was just gonna deal with my hair being gray, but I decided I don't wanna do that. I need to touch up my roots at least, like at least just this one little strippy poo. Having gray hair is literally the bane of my dis existence. Like it's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Ugh, I need to go get hair dye. I have a bunch of returns that I just realized have been sitting in my car this whole time. I need to do my returns because now we're gonna go up to San Francisco on Thursday night instead of Friday morning. So I need to get all my shit together. I need to put my fake tan on today. Typical beauty. I have to do my Thursday beauty routine on a Wednesday now because we're leaving on Thursday, so. That's what I'm up to today. You look so pretty. Oh. This is behind the scenes of filming my TikToks when I forget my tripod. I forgot the attachment for this tripod to connect my phone. So it's on a candle balancing on my Sephora award that I won. <laughs> Love this for me. You know what one of the best parts 
of being at my parents' house is their fucking washer and dryer. This shit is huge. The washer and dryer that we have in San Diego can literally, and I'm not exaggerating, it literally can only fit three towels. Like that's the amount of laundry that you're able to do in one load. This washer and dryer, you could straight up fit like 30 towels in a load. And I'm not exaggerating. Like these are gigantic and I love them. And I just feel like every, all my clothes are like way cleaner when they're washed at my parents' house. So your girl is doing a bunch of laundry here. My mom was nice enough to do a load for me yesterday. She's a laundry queen. Like, I don't know if queen is the right word. She is a laundry, she's addicted to doing laundry is the best way to put it. Like, <laughs> if I wear like two outfits when I'm home, she's like, oh, if you put them at the top of the stairs, I'll do a load of laundry for you. <laughs> it's like, you don't need to do a whole load because I wore two outfits. <laughs> God bless her soul. Okay, so people, one of like the most frequent things that people, like just random people, like my friends, my cousins, whoever, ask me is like, how the fuck do you go so many days without washing your hair? They're like, oh, I work out. Like, I could never do that. And it's like, yes, you can. This is how I do it. I did like a whole series on it on my TikTok. But to give you guys a little insight, all you gotta do is after your workout, like I got back from my workout at like, maybe like nine-ish and it's 11. And obviously I like take a shower, I put it, I put my hair in a shower cap when I'm in the shower and take a body shower, wash my face, everything. I just don't wash my hair. And then I get out of the shower and I let the sweat dry in my hair for as long as possible. Like when I'm just at home and I don't have anywhere to go, I just let it dry for as long as possible. So it's like 10.45 right now and I still have not touched my hair, like I've just been letting the sweat dry in, but if you were in a rush and you need to go somewhere, all you have to do is blow dry the sweat in, and it may sound disgusting, but you know what's even more disgusting? Having fucked up hair from washing your hair every day. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I just blow dry the sweat into my roots, and then put in a tiny bit of dry shampoo, and you're good to go. And you do, you can do that for like three days in a row and your hair stays perfect. So that's what I do. That's my secret to post-workout hair and not washing my hair every day. I was just on an absolute fucking roll and I just filmed like five TikToks that are all good. Cause sometimes I film some and I'm like, eh, I could do better. But these ones I feel like are gonna do well. They're really good. And now I need to go run some errands. I need to go to Ulta which is like so interesting. I literally never ever go to Ulta anymore because obviously I worked for Sephora for so long and there's like nothing wrong with Ulta and like I literally used to work at Ulta in the store. So like I don't have anything against Ulta but it's just like weird. Like I'm just so used to Sephora now. But what are you looking at? She's literally like staring at me so crazy. What are you looking at? Lel. Um, but anyways, uh, so I'm going to go to Ulta because there's no Sephora in my hometown and I need a couple things. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I almost forgot to tell you guys that I was getting a little nervous because I hadn't heard from the brand agency in a few days and I was like, fuck, should I like jinx myself on this fucking branding studio? Um, but the girl just texted me and she said that she's sending me the final contract by the end of today so I'll be able to sign it tonight send them all my fucking money before the weekend before I go to outside lands but that'll make this weekend like that much better because it'll be a reason to celebrate we'll finally get things kicked off and going oh my god this is like actually like a monumental step so I will, you guys will definitely see me sign the contract because I'm gonna make a huge fucking deal about it. My hometown is like farmland, in case you didn't know. Good old Morgan Hill, California. It's just so funny, like I'm such a city girl and this is like farmland. Small town, country, 
Like there's only three freeway exits, if that puts it in perspective. I know that there's smaller towns out there, but like Morgan Hill, especially growing up, it's gotten a lot bigger now that I'm an adult, but growing up, this place is so small. Well, I just spent so much money on accident. I haven't been to Ulta in a very long time, as I said. And honestly, it was kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. They just have so many brands that I didn't realize that they carried that are like Instagram-y brands that I've like wanted to try. I didn't buy a lot of the things that I wanted to, but it's interesting. I just haven't been in there in a long time. I'm gonna get myself a little Starbucks because it's in the same parking lot and it's just hard to resist, you know? I love iced coffee more than a lot of things in life. Hi, can I please get um, a grande iced shake and espresso with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla with no classic? Okay. And that's it. And it was grande, correct? Yes. Can I get your name? Kelsey. Kelsey? Yep. Alright, Kelsey. I'll be ready to any problems. Use the window. Thank you. Alright, I just finished filming this Haley Bieber inspired low bun. Um, I literally wear this hairstyle all the fucking time. So I'm pretty good at it, not gonna lie. I'm fucking losing it because my, I've been trying to edit this fucking video for like an hour and a half now and my iMovie keeps crashing. And then the, I've been having a lot of issues with like, the file format and like all this bullshit. And so I'm pretty positive that it's because my iMovie software updated, but my Mac like overall software is not updated. So it's like not compatible. So I'm updating my Mac now because I have a lot of shit to do on my computer before I fucking leave tomorrow. Tej is on his way home. I like called him and I was like, I was like, hey, like, are you gonna be late tonight? Cause he's been working really late. Like he gets home at like 8.30. Um, and so I called him out. I was like, hey, are you gonna be home late? Like, I'm just trying to figure out what to do for dinner. And he's like, yeah, like I have to work late, da 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 And then we hang up the phone and then like literally five seconds later, he calls me back and he's like, actually, you know what? I'll just come home now. Like we'll go out to dinner. I'm like, that's because I'm TJ's favorite kid. You hear that, Megan and Cole? I'm TJ's favorite, for sure. So he's coming home, we're gonna go to dinner, we're gonna go to Opa and get Greek food. Cute little dad-daughter date. Hello, happy Thursday. I got up super early this morning, like at 6 a.m., finished editing and uploading my YouTube video because I just wanted to get that out of the way. Then I dyed my hair. I needed to try on all my Outside Lands outfits because I haven't actually tried them on. I don't know what the fuck has come over me. Normally I'm like such a psychopath about outfits and I just like have not been that way for Outside Lands. I don't really know why. I guess because it's like more of a casual music festival. I'm like not that worried about it. And it's just cold because it's in San Francisco. But anyways, I tried on my outfits also because I last minute ordered a like a cool men's jacket from ASOS because they have next day delivery. So I ordered it on Tuesday night thinking that I would get here yesterday night or today. And I still haven't gotten a notification that it's even shipped. So I don't think that that's coming. So I needed to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do with my outfit that I was expecting to wear that with. Actually, I think I need to go to Walmart, oddly enough, because I'm wearing like a tight, black like dress one day and like when I'm at a concert and I'm gonna be like sitting on the grass and stuff like I want to wear shorts under it and I have I normally have this like perfect pair of shorts that's like boy shorts so you can wear it with like a really short dress which this one's really short but I didn't fucking pack them and I'm so annoyed and I and I looked at Target and they didn't have any. And then I forgot about it until right now when I was just trying on outfits again. So I think I need to go to Walmart and see if they have any. Oh, oh my God. With the contract with the branding agency, they like had the wrong 
address in a place so I can't sign it yet. So they just sent it back to me. So I'm going to go print that out and sign it and then send it back to them. So let's go do that. I'm about to sign it. This is so exciting. Honestly, Car of course Carly would FaceTime me right now. She's going to have to wait. All right. We're doing it, people. Click, click, baby. This is a big... This is a monumental day in the making of my business, to be honest. This is where it all began. Once I send this to them and send them the payment, then on Monday they get started with the branding. And then my first meeting with them will be next Friday, I think, Thursday or Friday, where they like showed me mood boards and all that good old stuff. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is a great fucking way to start out the Outside Lands weekend. Now I don't have to be stressed. This is amazing. I love my life. Okay, it's like 3 p.m., a little pa after three. Um, I kind of finished packing. It's a shit show trying to pack. And I was just texting Morgan and Emily and they're both bringing like gigantic suitcases. And here I am literally shoving all my shit into a carry-on sized suitcase thinking we're all bringing carry-on sizes because it's literally th three days of planned to a T outfits. Like you would think in theory it's easy to pack for that, but it's not. And I have size 10 feet, so my boots literally take up half of my suitcase, an entire half. But anyways, not important. Um, I just finished packing. I still have to go to Walmart. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm probably just gonna go to Emily Morgan's house now and hang out there until we have to leave. And then, yeah. So I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna start the next vlog, I guess maybe tonight, like as we're driving up to the city. Maybe I'll either start it tonight or tomorrow at the actual festival. But yeah, thanks for watching this week's vlog. I know it probably wasn't the most exciting just because I didn't do much, but our the outside lands vlog should definitely make up for it because we're gonna be drinking all weekend and my friends are fucking wild so that should be interesting as long as we remember to vlog that vlog should be interesting <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching Ilya Millie and I will see you guys next time